figured out which way. Folks, <laughs> my name is Josh. I'm originally from Cleveland. Woo! Thank you. Now, if you guys, I'm going to try to educate you guys a little bit. I'm going to tell you about Cleveland City Schools. I have a friend of mine who's a fourth grade teacher. And on the first day of school, she handed out a contact information sheet. It said uh, first name, last name, street address, street name, phone number. Now there's a young boy in a class named Terrence. Now Terrence filled his out, and next to street name, he put little T. <laughs> <laughs> About seven years ago, I, uh, I joined the military, because I wanted to see the world. Thank you. But I wanted to see the world. Made it all the way to Dayton. What's up, you Oh, shit. But I have gotten to travel a little bit. I have uh, a few months ago, I was in Dallas, Fort Worth Airport. Wait a little I'm on my way back to Dayton. I'm in the terminal waiting for my flight, and a gentleman started talking to me. He asked me where I was from and what I did for a living. So I told him I was in the military. He said, get some, soldier. Sir, I apologize. I should have been more specific. I'm in the Air Force. I can get some coffee for you. This gentleman is excited about the Air Force. All right. Uh, being in the military, things are always changing. Don't ask, don't tell has been repealed. Homosexuals can now openly serve. A lot of people are mad about it. I'm okay with it, here's why. Gay guys like to give compliments. <laughs> Coincidentally, I like receiving them. <laughs> I'd love to go to work and have someone tell me how to cute ass. <laughs> thanks, Bruce. I'm not gonna let them put your dick in it, but thank you. <laughs> That's a good start to a Monday right there. <laughs> oh, and deploying with them? I'm pretty sure if I got shot in my cute ass, Bruce would go Tony Montana on those assholes. He will literally make them say hello to his little friends. I've actually been deployed. I was, uh, I was over in Iraq for seven months. Very excited. Uh. Yeah, I was over in Iraq. If you guys ever get a chance to visit, don't. I think my, my favorite thing about being back there was when gamers try to talk to me about Call of Duty. Like, dude. It is so realistic, you gotta try it. No, Josh, it is that realistic, you got to. So I gave it a shot, and it really is. Because I remember when I was in the desert, I want to say it was the seventh time I died in respawn. I reached for my invisible backpack, pulled out my rocket launcher, went on a 13 kill streak, won the mission. Hey, Tommy, good work out there. You wanna do another mission? Oh, your mom says it's past your bedtime? Good luck on that spelling test tomorrow, man. So realistic. When I enlisted the military, they run all kinds of tests on you. They did a physical, uh, vision test, hearing test, all that. And according to the Air Force, I'm colorblind. Now, I'm not really, but I do, I do have trouble differentiating between dark shades, like midnight blue, purple, black people. <laughs> they literally all look the same to me. Like, if I look at Will Smith, your shirt, Wesley Snipes, all I see is racism. I'm not racist, folks, I'm not. I accept all shades of white. <laughs> Off white, eggshell white, Jaleel white, even. If you didn't get that joke, Jaleel white played Steve Urkel on Family Matters. That's what I was going for. I did a show this past Saturday night in Jackson, Ohio. Now, if you don't know where Jackson is, it's right near the border of West Virginia. It basically is West Virginia. Now, after the show, I saw, I saw a girl who was gorgeous. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go talk to this girl. So I went up to her, I got three words in before she started giving me attitude. She said, excuse me, I have four men that want to be with me. What makes you think I want to talk to you? I said, well listen, honey, you want to know the differences between me and those four men? I'm not related to you, bitch. That's called hoe checking. I think, I don't even know. Hey, Adrian's black half, is that hoe checking? That's hoe checking. All right, thank you, sir. I had a female friend of mine call me a whore one time. Now clearly, she doesn't know the meaning of the word, because I'm a guy. Guys can't be whores. You show me a chick that's banged 40 dudes, and I'll show you a whore. You show me a dude that's banged 40 chicks, and I'll show you 40 whores. <laughs> Folks, that's gonna be my time. Thank you very much, I'm Josh Meyer. Give it for Josh Myers, everybody.